Marami sa mga Pilipino ang nangangarap na magkaroon ng sariling tirahan. Kung kaya't karamihan ay bumibili ng hulugan o di na may halos lahat ng naipon ay napupunta sa pagbili ng tirahan. Pero kapag naganap ang tinatawag na The Big One, kung saan marami sa mga gusali ang pinangangambahang gubuho, ano na lamang ang maaring gawin ng mawawala ng tahanan? Si Michael Reliosa ang Executive Director ng Philippine Insurers and Reinsurers Association. Ipinaliwanag niya na mahalagang alamin kung ang developer ng kanilang condominium units ay kumuha na ng earthquake insurance. Ang dapat kumuha ng earthquake insurance, it's not the unit owner, but it's supposed to be the building administration acting for and on behalf of the group of condominium unit owners. Mm, so technically, uh, Nikki, when you buy a condominium unit, mm -hmm. you're not buying a part of the building. Or you're buying a part of the building, but you're buying the space mm -hmm. within the four walls of your unit. Dapat din daw tiyakin na nasa listahan ka ng condominium owners sa insurance policy na may-ari ng gusali. Kung condominium unit owner ka, what you have to do is make sure that the building that you're buying or the, the, the building in which your unit is situated is covered under a group policy or a condominium policy. And then make sure too na as unit owner, kasama ka doon sa listahan ng mga memeari ng mga unit sa building na yun. Ang makukuhang kabayaran ng bawat unit ay depende sa kung ilan ang condo unit owners sa gusali. But technically, the building, you're only one of the, for example, as a hundred unit owners in one building, you're only one over a hundred. Uh -huh. So technically, when you insure the building, you have to have 100 owners there. Uh -huh. and, so and then how do you get paid? Uh, for example, the building is a hundred million to make it simple. Yeah. You are one over a hundred, so you get one million. Ang insurance premium sa bawat condo unit owner ay karaniwang kasama na sa binabayarang annual association dues. If you are a condominium unit owner, you usually get billed for security guard, garbage, the utility sometimes. And then included in that are the special assessments, which usually includes um, the condominium dues pala, usually includes premium payment. Maliban dito ay maaari ding ikuha ng insurance ang iyong mga gamit sa loob ng iyong condo unit. However, the things that you own, like the things that you put inside the condominium unit, that is yours. That's your TV, those are your clothes, that's your painting, yeah. that's your floor that you put in. So those belong to you and you insure that on your own. Mm -hmm. Affordable naman ba ang taunang insurance premium para sa isang condo unit owner? The rate for that including file would be 0.15% of the value that you want to insure. So if you want to insure 1 million, 0.15% of that would be about 3,000 pesos. That's annual premium na. Mahalaga din daw na kumuha ng insurance mula sa isang kumpanya na mayroon ng track record para hindi maloko. The best thing to do is to find out who are those insurance companies with current licenses. And that way, okay, you're in good hands. Or they can call PIRA as well. PIRA is the Association for Online Life Insurance Company. Paulit-ulit na sinasabi ni Engineer Morales na dapat nang itigil ang paggawa ng quench and tempered steel bars at bumalik na lamang sa paggamit ng microalloy steel bars na mas safe daw. Ito lamang daw ang paraan para matiyak na mabibigyan ng sapat na panahon ng mga tao na makalabas ng gusali kapag nagkaroon ng malakas na lindol. Nauna nang sinabi ni DTI Yusek Ruth Castello na hindi maaring itigil ang paggawa ng QT rebars. Pinapa-stop niya yung use ng quench tempered for uh, ano yung uh, high rises kasi nga uh, delikado daw. Uh, what is your take on that? <laughs> Pwede bang matawa? <laughs> Bakit ho? Wala nang mag wala nang magtatayo ng any structure sa Pilipinas. Because in the Philippines, what we use, what we do is quench and temper, quenching and tempering. Yun lang. That's the no other meron, alternative. I don't know of any manufacturing company in the Philippines that uses microalloy because nga, it's very expensive. 
the quality is almost the same and the cost is very different. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how. Pinabulaan na naman ito ni Engineer Morales. That is not true and it is highly uninformed that uh, Yusek Castello will say that if you erase when stampered in the Philippine market, construction will cease. That is hogwash. They still have the facility for manufacturing micro-alloy rebars and provided that the demand, if the demand is significant, that they can manufacture. And true enough, you know, in, even in our projects where we specified uh, to the total exclusion of quench tempered rebars, the use of micro alloy rebars, several steel mills offered their proposal. Ay naman kay Dr. George Mansano, din ng School of Economics ng University of Asia and the Pacific, kung kaligtasan ng mga mamaya ng nakasalalay, mahalagang agarang tugunan ang isyong ito. One might wonder why other countries are not banning it if if it has been established that it is unsafe. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they're not convinced they're unsafe. Perhaps the industry lobby is simply too powerful. We don't know. Or the political system is such that it's not easy to, ch to, re to make reforms in their building codes because it affects so many people. But that's a certainly a, a line of inquiry. Pero inami niyang kailangan ding isaalang-alang ang epekto nito sa ekonomiya. Well, if they decide to ban it, Always, the, the issue here is how fast the, the industry can adjust or how fast the construction, in the, uh, the construction uh, sector or the real estate developers can adjust because presumably right now they already have budgets and the budgets depend on the prices of the QT which, which they will use. So if you ban it outright, there will be huge adjustment costs which may not be very easy. And so, usually, when you, when, you know, like any policy setting, when you make adjustments, you adjust gradually. Mm -hmm. How gradual, well, that's a, that's a scientific issue, you know, how, how gradual you, you adjust it. But uh, it's, it's not easy to ban it outright, as I mentioned, if I go back. May ilang rekomendasyon si Dr. Mansano para masolusyonan ang issue. Maybe the insurance markets can put a higher premium on buildings that use lesser quality steel because the chances of, of uh, damage is higher. Mm -hmm. And so again, this will encourage real estate developers to use higher quality steel so they can have lower cost for the insurance without actually banning it. You let the markets work for you. Mm -hmm. Or the, the fourth one is let the government certify uh, that this particular rebar can withstand seismic you know, as a seismic rating. Mm -hmm. And all of this, caveat emptor, you know, let, let the buyers beware. You give them information uh, and let them decide. Mahalaga din daw na magsagawa ng kaukulang cyclic loading test sa mga QT rebars. That you have to invest on, on testing and so you resolve it uh, once and for all. And after that, you let the markets work already. Iniimbisigahan na rin ng Presidential Anti-Crime and Corruption Commission ang mga aligasyon ni Engineer Morales laban sa DTI. Since it was brought to our attention with the uh, engineer and expert, expert Engineer Morales, we have to look into this. It's regarding uh, safety of the people. Sumulat na ang PACC sa DDI upang sagutin ang mga legasyon ni Engineer Morales ilang buwan na ang nakakaraan. Subalit hanggang ngayon ay wala pa daw sagot ang DTI. Umapela si Engineer Morales kay Pangulong Duterte na aksyonan na ang isyong ito sa lalong madaling panahon. Oh yes, I would appeal to ano, I would appeal to the president himself and also the responsible uh, officials in the government to actually evaluate the complaints, particularly in the present situation where China, which is a very big uh, rebar market, has suddenly banned quench tempered rebars in 2018 after uh, there are studies on the Sichuan earthquake, but the implication is far reaching because they suddenly banned quench tempered rebars in 2018 as a result of that study. And imagine uh, the China market actually uses, if 
if I'm not mistaken, 400 uh, million tons of rebar products in their building construction, no? Di tulad ng iba mga earthquake pro na bansa, patuloy pa rin bang magbubulag-bulaga ng Pilipinas sa panganib na maaring maidunot ng quench and tempered steel bars? Ayon sa mga eksperto, hinug na ang ating bansa para sa pagtama ng The Big One anumang araw ngayon. Libo-libong buhay ang nakasalalay. Seryoso ang isyu nito at hindi pwedeng ipagkibit-balikat na lamang. Magandang gabi. Ako po si Veronica Baluyut Jimenez at ito ang istoryang aking itinala sa Veronica Files.